Hey, there's an ambulance there. Wonder what's going on. Let's go and have a look. Back doors are open. I think I think there's something in somebody in there. Hang on, let's lis listen. Check for pulse. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Hang on a minute, I think I can hear somebody coming out. Who is it? I do, Dave, lad. Hey, it's shocking in there. All right, Barry, you were all right. I'm just looking at your new ambulance. Why on earth have you bought that? So, just like Barry, you might be wondering why on earth has he bought an ambulance? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what exactly I've got, where I got it from, why I've got an ambulance and what I'm going to be doing with it. So I have got a 2013 Renault Master. Uh, it's got 209,000 miles on the clock. Now you might say, well that's a bit high and it's not bad for a diesel. You go somewhere like Egypt, they're driving around with about a million miles on the clock there. Uh, yeah, so that's not too bad. And the other thing, because it's only ever been owned by the NHS, it's uh, always had really good service, uh, regular service, and really well looked after. It's got four really good tyres on it, Michelin tyres, so they put good quality tyres on them. And it's got come with 12 months MOT. So, I should have a really good running vehicle here. So I got the van from a specialist dealer in Tipton. I'll put the link to them below. And this is pretty much what they've got on eBay, ambulances. When I went to their yard, they got absolutely loads of them. They got all sorts from the pedestrian carriers, right up to fully kitted out, stretchers, the whole lot brand new almost ambulances really new ambulances this is one of their older ones so i got it a lot cheaper now it's been decommissioned they've taken all the sirens off they've taken uh, the flashing lights off loads of stuff they've just ripped out of it their radios everything that's all gone now when they decommission it they do make a bit of a mess of the wiring and the wiring is a total nightmare in there but we'll get over that somehow so sorry spider so why have I bought an ambulance well if any of you have ever had a small van you'll know that it's an absolute nightmare and I mean mine's a Renault traffic so it's not really a small van but it is an absolute nightmare when you've got it full up now if I've got my pressure washer in I can't get me uh, gutter cleaning equipment in if I've got the gutter cleaning and the, and the fascia washing equipment in I can't get me pressure washer in so that comes on to this this is going to be the ultimate cleaning van so what I'm going to do is a series of videos uh, there'll probably be quite a few with how I convert this into the ultimate cleaning van so I hope you'll keep watching that so should we have a, a look inside and see what's actually like inside to start off with we have got the ramp now that has actually been decommissioned as well uh, as you could see at the start when Barry walked down it we could actually drop it down but it's really tight but whether I'll recondition that yeah put it back to working or not I don't know so inside we have got a massive space here we've got 12 foot but again you say well that's no different to any master van uh, in the back first of all there is only two seats in the front I'll have a look to the front got one there and one there with my camera gear on so we've got the two seats in the front but we've also got three folding seats in the back uh, now these aren't all going to stop here I'm going to be removing these so they completely fold down fold out the way so I'm going to be taking two of these out, but still having one in for a pedestrian or a passenger, I should say. Now, why have I got the ambulance? Well, to start off with, it's all boarded out really nicely with this plastic board. 
but behind it it's all insulated already which really nice come winter that is a big bonus the insulation is stop getting condensation in here and you know it'll help stop everything from freezing that's not the only winter bonus we have also got a night heater so that it's that's also been decommissioned from there i'm going to put that back into service and that will come on off a thermostat and stop the van from freezing up on those cold winter nights uh, as i said i'm going to take the chairs out it's also got led lights throughout so if you're working at night it's going to be a lot easier uh, or even on those dark winters it's got an extractor fan well we all know it can get a bit damp or smelly in the back of the van so extractor fan loads of cupboards fitted whether i take those or not out or not this one here will be coming out uh, just to give me some more space we've also got a winch here that will be coming out i don't think i need that that's all something to do with lifting or something so that will come out that box will probably come out so in the front here under the step here we have an auxiliary battery so a uh, leisure battery as we'd know it in the cleaning trade and that is charged with this unit here as you can see just the two seats and then we've got this box in the middle here if you open that up it is absolutely full of wires the dashboard has uh, got the old radio mounting system on here that's gonna all come out i suppose the radio would have gone in there that can all come out looks like something else has been bolted on there maybe a sat nav i don't know but apart from that it's fairly clean and tidy loads of little storage cubby holes and all the rest of it so uh We'll start ripping out soon. So I live on a terrace street. So at the moment, if I've got to load my pressure washer into the van, I've got to bring it out the back of the garden, right down my house, across the neighbours, down the alley, then it depends where I can park. It can take me three quarters of an hour to load up my pressure washer gear. When I get to the job, it's another half an hour unloading it, setting it all up, and another half hour putting it away, three quarters of an hour at night sticking it all back in the garden. And it, so that's what's that. Uh, three quarters of an hour and a half, two and a half hours, just to, just to do a job. That's on top of doing the job itself. Wears you out, lifting it in and out, although I've got ramps, it's still heavy. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm thinking about putting a plate across here, and then in the back, first thing will happen will be the pressure washer will be mounted in the back here. You'll have a couple of hoses for it, so all you'll need to do is pull one hose out, plug it into the tap, pull the other hose out and you can start start your pressure washer up and you're away. Now, to feed the pressure washer, I've got a 400 litre baffle tank going into it. Uh, so with all the float valves and everything going on there. Behind that, I'm going to put a window cleaning unit in. So I've got, because it's not for my main window cleaning van, I'll keep the other van just for doing windows. But just behind that, there'll be uh, a 250 litre tank, uh, probably with an RO system attached to it, and um, a hose reel, the whole lot, and poles. So if I'm out, get the property dirty pressure washing, I will be able to just pull that out, off I go, window cleaning. Now, I have also, because I've got the tower now, again, that takes up load of room. I have to put it on the roof of the van to take it anywhere. So in this van, I'll have room to stand it up. So it just makes life so much easier. I'll have room for the gutter vacs down this side, the poles, I'll have a ladder inside. Uh, yeah, it's just so much. The more I think about it, the more I can't understand why I haven't already done it. So I'm going to be making a series of videos, um, be quite a big series I think, setting it all up, setting the pressure washer up, setting the um, window cleaning system up, building a, uh, building a frame for the tanks. I think the first thing I'll do is security. I've ordered uh, and got an appointment for deadlocks to be fitted and 
I've also got extra security to go in the van with sensors on it so if anybody messes with it not only will it text me it will ring me and it will also set off alarms in the van so I think those are the first things to do so I hope you'll find this series interesting if you do make sure you keep watching if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel because there might be something especially if you're just starting up I'm going to be going right from basics setting everything up so uh, if you've got any suggestions the things you think I ought to put in it or things that I've missed out put it in the comments below let me know I'm always you know I don't know everything by any means I'm always happy to learn and I'm always happy to hear suggestions off people so let me know what you think I should put in there and what I should do I'm not keeping it as the yellow. Um, I did think about it and thought about a catchphrase like bringing your property back to life, but you get too many funny looks. You get people stopping for you to let you out when you're driving it. I think I'm gonna put it into the same sort of so, um, wrapped as the rest of my vehicles. So as I said, make sure you, you keep watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you think this is gonna be a great project and bye for now.